names in the um, Peter part. I just posted to the group. I can drop it again here. <laughs> Okay, so um, good evening, everyone. It's um, 12 minutes past 8. If you can still hear me. So we have just started the meeting like that. So first off, uh, we would like to highlight what we discussed the other time, myself and Rashid. We talked about our upcoming project. And if um, many of you would have known, we shared the, the, the grant application on the page for all of us to look through and make recommendations and probably endorse. So Rashid was asking if it was important for us to, you know, endorse, for everyone to endorse. It's really not a requirement because of um, where we have reached now. We have done so many um, projects. So even when we don't have um, endorsement, we still get our, our um, grants approved. So it's not really an endorse. Uh, a requirement but the important thing about that is that um, the community everybody sees that at least the community are in agreement of um, like they, they agree to what we are doing uh, so that is why we normally ask people to endorse but it's not really a requirement so for the project just for the sake of Raha and who has not seen it yet I'm just going to drop it here on the chat if you have any question about the project, if you have seen it before, if there's anything that you need clarification, you can discuss that before I go ahead. I'm just trying to put the link on the page or the chat. What's the title of the project? Um, the one, so it's just Bachinama. I'm trying to send the link directly here. Bachinum, so activating local language community, the ban Bachinum, I'm sharing the link. Don't drop link, man. And into you look at the discuss. So right now I'm on the link. Let me share my screen so I can discuss with you. Maybe this clarification. Hello. Yeah, that's not take. I'm gonna call them calls. I'll take a knock over. I think Khadija is trying to join. Let me just ask it here. I don't know why my network is misleading. Okay, that was Mohammed. So I'm just waiting a little bit for them to join so we can just take it from there.
Hello, Mohammed Awal. Welcome. We just started. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. Happy to join. Thank you very much. So I'm sharing my screen right now. Okay. That's fine. Right, Kadija Idrisu has also joined. Hello, Kadija, can you hear us? Kadija, can you hear us? Okay, so I'm going to... Um, hi. You can hear us, eh? Okay, so um, we're just discussing the project and I'm supposed to share the link with you. I'm, I'm trying to open the link and it's not so much. Just a second. Okay, so now I think it's good. I'm having a little challenge with my network. Okay, I hope you can see my screen right now. Okay. Yes, please. So this is our um, upcoming project in um, December, first of December, and it's going to, as you may be aware, focused on media commons and dictionary, and uh, it is important that we discuss that among ourselves so we know what is coming up and how we can um, handle the project. I think I should be speaking more of the one. So project one more. If you look at the, the project goal to add content to Wikimedia Commons and to and recruit like new editors on Wikimedia Commons, engage existing editors on Wikimedia Commons, continue effort to activate the Dagban language community. So um, basically we are focusing on Dagbani um, words pronunciations. And I am going to show you uh, what so far we have done, mostly done by Sadat. He made the recordings. I'm going to share what he has done. This is what all of us will be doing. <clears throat> okay, so before it opens, let me just rush through. So the activities are like this. Uh, I will send the link to the chat our group and um, yeah so we are looking at 22 people in all we are looking at 20 this is not a contest it's not a challenge it's just a project that we are going to do within um, the community uh, we invite now if you remember i was asking for people with um, qualifications in the Bani language we don't want to open it up to any other people, especially because of the nature of the work and what is involved. So it, it is important that we get um, people who understand the language and have command of the language. In your screen, in your Excel sheet, I don't know if in your screen. Okay, so screen one, this is how we are going to do the project. This sheet will be open for everyone and then um, the words we are looking at 4,000 words in Dagbani and we have added up to 21 now so we are looking for up to 4,000 and 
what basically we'll do on the project as I showed in the rapid grant is that someone will be responsible for checking the typing, especially with the Latin characters. If you want to spell something, we need to ensure that it is following the rules of the Dagbani language using the appropriate words uh, or characters. So one will be responsible for checking the spelling. So if the word is also a valid Dagban word, there are some words people think they are Dagban words, meanwhile they are not. So someone will be responsible for that, checking for the spelling and then making sure that they are valid Dagban word. And then if the word is spelled correctly, the person still checks that. So all these words, if it is in green, that means that word is um, correctly spelled and it, it matches with what we are looking for. So the one who is doing that work, so anybody at all can just come here and add words, provided they are not, um, you know. And the table is such that it uh, um, automatically uh, it will ad arrange everything in alphabetical order. So if there are duplicates, we'll be able to see them. So the person signs his name here. You just put your username here and then there will be a link here for you to record the, the spelling of the word. So let's say this one is Alaba and uh, here they check that the word is a Dagban word and it's well spelled. So here is the one who wrote the word and he made a recording of the word here. Another person comes to check to see whether the condition of the sound is good and then you could probably add some notes here. So the, ru um, the rules um, or the like the assignment will be checked to cross examine and reassign who can take up which role. So I'm just going to play one sound for you to see what it looks like. It is not te technical. You don't need to write like write anything as we always do. Alaba. So this is a I don't know if you can hear the sound. Yeah. Uh, so that is basically what we'll be doing for all the words we will be adding here. And this one has um um severe. Let me play the sound of severe. So this is not a contest as I indicated. Something that all of us can do. So that is the task we'll be doing. And because the, we are looking for 22 people because the words are many. 4,000 is not an easy thing. So we believe that 22 people should be able to complete the uh, 4,000 words in one month. So if you have any question from this point, you can feel free to ask before we move on to the next stage. Any question, please? Okay, um, Mr. Sterik. Mm. Yes, I can uh, hear you. Assuming, um, yeah, assuming someone um, writes a word, mm. the spelling is correct. Mm. Um, it's checked, everything is checked, but when it comes to the sound, mm. the person pronounces the pronunciation um like the sound doesn't it doesn't sound well um, so can you change the sound then yes like the person check in for the okay yes so here so that if you, if yep. you see that the sound it doesn't sound well then you you, you can, can you, i don't know whether there's a, a, a space that uh, you can take it off and then record the right one Yes. So first of all, we are looking for people who really know how to pronounce this word. So we expect that once the person is able to type it well, okay. you will definitely be able to uh, pronounce it well. But in um, other cases where maybe people will make mistakes, someone might even record a tani for another word. And because the person, someone is going to be checking all these things, he will come and give a remark here. So if the sound is not good, or maybe they, they are like knowing there, he will write whether it's good or not. So at the end of the day, we'll be able to see 
which words are good, which ones are bad, or stuff like that. I don't know if that is okay. Clear. So someone is definitely going to check, and you can easily, after everything, you will be okay. able to pull out all the bad ones and then do it again because it's not a contest. Anybody at all can just come and fix it and then change the statues to good and then give it a remark like notes. If that has answered your question. Okay, it's understood. Okay. Um, the reason why I ask um, that question is um, sometimes the donation. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, the person um, might write the word correctly and then um, depending, on, depending on where the person is coming from, I absolutely agree with you. That is very um, true. So yes. Yeah, I think you get my point. Okay. I, I, I get you. I get you. Okay. I get you. So now as it stands now, we don't have a standard um, tonation for that or dialect. Let me just put it that way. We have people who speak differently from um, depending on where okay. they are located, like those in Yendi and other people from other parts of the northern region. And even with this, because we are looking at Moli, Dagban, there could be other people like Mampusi also recording. We assume that, yeah. And, you know, with the, the um, Moli, Dagbani languages, there are many, as you can see on the page, um, where is the page? They are like 12. Some of them are even outside Ghana, like Burkina Faso and Cote d'Ivoire. Huh. Because of that, sure. we, yes. we can't assess based on one particular, I think there are 16 languages, let me just open this page. We can't assess using one particular tonation, so we just have to keep it like that, since they are all Moli, Nagbani languages. Yeah, we just keep okay. to that. Okay. And yeah, so if, if after everything, we can still go through and assess it. But if somebody recalls something that is Nanuli, okay. or maybe Mampuli, or that should be fine. At the end of the day, we are looking at the Moli Dagbani languages. Okay, so any other, any other question? Yeah. Okay. So, or oh, someone has come in. I, I wanted to, the, the, the sound you, play, you played um, earlier. Uh, uh, the first one. Uh, work. Yes, I realize it's not correct. Yeah. Uh, no, uh, yeah. This one. No, I mean the uh, Alaba. Alaba. Uh, yes. Alaba. Uh, yes, I think that is wrong. I, 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 I think it's true. So, yeah, we can fix that. Alaba. This... <laughs> Alaba. Yeah, I think we can fix that. Alaba. It's, a, it's like... Um, Okay. It's very true. So that someone may someone someone might play it and might not even think that that's alaba is is mentioning. That is very true. So, alaba. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So you see alaba. why we are looking for, yes. we are looking for experts. We are looking for experts. We are looking for those yes. who who studied Dagbani. Yes. That's why I'm particularly interested in like people with yes. BA and probably maybe at least uh, diploma yes. in basic education with the and stuff like that. So we need to okay. get, we don't want to open it up to any member of the group, but what we, I, I, I thought we could do is rather to give those who participated in the contest, at least most of them, like the eight people, they should have the opportunity to participate. Yes. Then the yes, rest whether the they have that. Um, yeah. Because some, some people know the Dagbani very well, even though they did not study it. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Their universities, so, and, uh, so, maybe they just studied it at their, old, their leisure time, but they don't yeah. have certificate to that effect. Yeah, yeah. So to, 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 for us not to gamble with the project, we want to give the opportunity to first um, those who participated in the contest, all of them. Yes, uh -huh. those Because we have at yes. least seen their work, and we can testify yes. to that. Then the second oh, they, yes. group is, um, are those who have the, the bachelor's. Those who have the, the qualification, yes. Uh -huh. So at the end of the day, we are looking at that one is okay. to 25. And then the budget, so everybody gets, um, let me see, we, we plan, because there's another project coming up, I'll talk about it after this one. We plan to give everyone 
on this team a safe line um, router which cost around 500 Ghana C. But if we give everyone a router, <laughs> it's, not, it's not a difficult thing to do, but people might still want to have something. Like you, you have a router, you should have money at least for participating. I don't know if that makes sense. So instead of giving them routers, we will give them mobile yes. Wi-Fi. Do you all agree? This is something that we can okay. all agree or disagree. Mobile Wi-Fi is just like router. The, the only difference is router takes up to 32 uh, devices and my fi mobile Wi-Fi takes just 10. And another thing is that uh, mobile Wi-Fi, you can put it in your pocket and you can charge it and move with it everywhere you go. But router it has to be connected to the power point. Uh -huh. So um, a mobile Wi-Fi will definitely cost less than half of this amount or probably half of that. So why don't we give them, if let's say mobile Wi-Fi is 250 Ghana C, we buy a, a Wi-Fi for them because they are all 4G. And that's there's no difference. The only difference, as I said, is just what I said. But they are all powerful. They all work well. You know, it's just the same thing. And they can even keep it in their pocket and charge it and stuff like that. So if we give them 20, 250 Ghana C plus the mobile Wi-Fi, I think it will make sense. That is my personal Hello? Opinion. Hello? Yeah, somebody was talking. Please go on. Okay, so that is my opinion. If you think otherwise, or if we all agree, we can change that here and then move ahead. Or well, they are currently reviewing the grant and they, they are going to approve it anytime soon. Do you, have, do you all agree we should keep it like that? Or you are thinking that we should do something else? Um, hi. So that means that um, with the routers, if they are getting the routers, there will be no data allowance for them. There's data allowance for the workshop, the first stage. So everybody gets a data allowance, but it's not much because the number is few. So I think the mobile Wi-Fi would do because um, it comes at a low cost. And from what you were saying, they will be provided with additional data. That would help. But if we give out routers and they are unable to buy data in them, mm -hmm. it becomes white elephant. Yeah. So, yeah, so you also agree. I think I also agree with that. We will give them 25, 250 Ghana CD and then the 250 goes for mobile Wi-Fi, which they can use forever. So that is it for the content. Yeah, Khadija, you wanted to talk? Uh, um, I just wanted to add that I think it's, it's fine for me too. Okay, cool. I think, do we all agree? Oh, yes. Yes, okay. I agree. Okay. Yeah, the mobile Wi Fi is okay. um, the best okay. decision. So, yeah, so um, there was this issue again about about how we disperse um, um, like funds for projects um, with 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 global open initiative our other project we normally um, try to give some funds uh, can you mute yourself please if you are receiving a call, you can simply mute, mute yourself so that you don't distract. Thank you. All right. So the, um, other projects, ma. Um, um, the um, some like funds, so that ten thousand and other projects that are outside the project. But uh, I want to understand that. 
this is a totally new community and everyone here is doing their best and we are at the beginning of the project and we need to rather focus on making people comfortable and happy for their effort. So we don't have any thing for the NGO. I actually went for the registration and everything and we are almost through. I understand it should be ready by like in two weeks time. So we intentionally did the budget in a way that there's nothing just like we did for, just like we did for the other one. Okay, please just a second. Hello. Sorry. I was receiving some foreign code, that's why. Right. Uh -huh. So, the, just like the first one, we didn't give anything out for any unforeseeable event. We rather spend more. We ended up organizing workshop, which was not part of the project. I ended up coming to Tamale because people needed to be um, educated physically. So it was more like a cost for us, additional cost, which we didn't budget for. So I, I totally understand that we need to keep um, some funds and do um, other stuff for team members or for the purpose of growth. We need to grow with whatever we are doing. What we normally do with Global Open Initiative Foundation is that, um, especially before COVID, we used to budget for venues, like the venue and then um, cost of feeding and transport for um, participants. So those ones usually um, helps us to save some funds for other um, things. But because this one, as I said, is a new thing, we need to, especially for the first two projects, we need to give all out and make sure that everyone gets equally what he or she deserves. So we don't keep anything because we don't have um, an account yet. We are just trying to open the account now. We don't, we don't even have um, a place to keep the money. So why don't we just release everything, let everything go like that. So subsequently, it is not going to be like that. It is going to be an NGO fully registered, as I said. And we have a lot of projects coming up. Even right now, there were other projects that we had to start um, art and feminism wanted us to do a Wikipedia birthday event. I wanted um, Khadija to lead that project because I am currently working with them and I cannot, I can only support and I can lead a project. I wanted one of you, either Khadija, any of you, or Rashid to lead that project. But I, I just thought that it's going to be too much for us because there's so much coming up. There's a, a research project coming up in we we'll start the planning alongside this particular event, but it will be officially, we will kick, kick start everything in um, January. It's a research project around um, Wikipedia, um, Dagbani, and it's a big project. It's huge. We have tested that with um, Global Open Initiative and it worked. We embarked on a research to collect um, information about parliamentarians from 1952 to date and we gave um, participants um, up to 3,000 like 3,500 or 600 plus to collect data and it was successful we want to do that with the Dagbani as well and probably if we can provide maybe laptops for those who participate in the uh, research work and as I said and there is also going to be on merit. We want to look at those who are, um, you know, participating, those who are fully involved. It's going to be big. So we ourselves cannot do that. We we'll also look for team members to participate. It's going to be a one man. And the idea, I'm still working on the draft, but I can give you the highlight of what it will look like. We are going to collect data about Ghanaian women in sports. Ghanaian women uh, entertainment, Ghanaian women in STEM, like science and technology, and Ghanaian women in academia. 
from 1957 to date. So we'll give an Excel sheet. Let me pull one we did with Global Open Initiative and you see how it looks like. <coughs> okay, awesome. When I get the sheet, I will share with you. So the Excel sheet will be designed by us and we share with team, uh, team members. They will collect information like the names, the, their or, the, the names of the people, the women, and then their date of birth, education, academic qualification, religion, etc. So they will collect information on all these people in an Excel sheet. And the part of the project will also involve traveling to resource centers like li libraries or schools to collect offline resources. So in the Excel, there will be a column for online resources or references and then another column for offline. So for offline, we would probably visit these institutions to collect those references, either from newspapers, journals, books, and st stuff like that. For online, um, they will collect like Google information. When you Google the person, you will be able to pull out information about their date of birth, education, religion, and stuff like that. So everything will be outlined for them to complete and with that, by the close of the month, we should have a lot of data about them. And the next project will be to write articles about these people in Dagbani and then also improve their Wikidata or create Wikidata items for them. So it will be focused on only um, Dagbani Wikipedia and Wikidata. That is in uh, March, but we'll start the planning um, this month and in December. If you have any question about this. So that would be about uh, okay. Sorry, I didn't hear that. No, I'm still putting myself together. Okay. All right. So that will be about, let me complete that for you, about women. <laughs> All women, women, women. Yeah, women. Yeah. Under the Dagbani project, right? Yeah, it's going to be Dagbani, but the people that we are collecting the information, unlike the uh, my northern achiever, this one is not northerness. It's for everyone. Once the person is a woman, from 1950s, oh. let's say the person was an actor or uh, no actress. So from 1957 till date, every woman, a notable woman who has been an actress before, we should be able to get that person's name. Other information is about them. We should be able to get. Um, women in sports from 1957 to date mostly people who have participated in the black stars the black prince the black starlets eh? how do they call them the women black queens, mm -hmm. black queens princesses yes. and those kind of people we have them some of them started way back so now we need to get information about them and even the ghana olympic team the female team the athletics team the tennis all these people are under one category which is sports so every woman who has been like, has represented Ghana before in terms of sports, we need to get the information about the person. And funny enough, or interestingly, we already have this list on Wikipedia. For example, um, if you want to get information about um, 1992 Olympic Ghana team women, you just search Wikipedia will give you all the names. Even when you search on Google, so it's not difficult to do. The only challenge that I see with this is. Um, the references some of them are not well covered that's why we are going to do offline and on, online references if you don't get information about them 
on Google, we can. We, that's why we'll still go to the libraries and places like that. We can. Uh, kind of, I, I, I shared a picture of some cool guys that was training on how to edit and then create articles. I just uh, was it last week. I shared a picture of that to the group. Yes. So if we are kind of doing that and then encouraging them, trying to convince them to do more edit, I think it will lead us to whatever they want to achieve. But if we, as a team, we are there and then we are we don't put any seriousness in it, I think it will not help. So let's try our best to see how effective we can become to push the whole thing ahead. Excellent. Excellent. I absolutely agree with you. <coughs> Excuse me. I think this is a major challenge with like every new um, initiative. But what I believe in is that those who want to stay or want to do will definitely put in their best years back. Sadat and I, when we like, we all, we all were like floating members, uh -huh. going to workshop. For me, I, I used to feel like when I go to workshop, the Wikipedia workshop, aside from learning new things, I connect with people. Sometimes I would say I get free lunch, then drink, then I'm just happy. Like weekend, I don't have anywhere to go. <laughs> I just go to Goethe Institute. We have some Wikimedia Ghana user group meetup. I'll get some chicken, papaya, then things. So it was like, fun for me and I developed much interest and I saw that you know even when I go and I don't get anything cry I still learn something new and I am sure some of you would have seen the benefit already uh, I can talk about Khadija who has been with us for some time now she knows what is in for as Khadija, I'm talking about Khadija Idrisu. Yeah. So there's a lot. And if you don't put in effort, that's one thing. When the chances are coming, it, it's like, yeah, hello. It will just pass you. When chances are coming, it will just pass you. Hello. Yeah, Khadija, I can hear you. Do you have anything to share with us? Yes. Yeah. Um, please, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Yeah, so I just want to tell the team members here that um, it might just start like this, but then you really go far away um, being part of the Wikimedia Foundation. Because I just started off by um, just joining a training session on my campus, but then I didn't even have any idea about what Wikimedia was. But after that, I got to the point of, um, hello. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, okay. yeah so I was saying that it just started with um, attending a training session one time. And after that training session, um, I was chosen as one of the campus ambassadors. And um, now I'm on the team of the Global Open Initiative Foundation and as well as co-founder for this. So I would just entreat everyone here to make use of any opportunity that comes and like always put their best in because definitely one day they would reach greater heights just being here and because there are a lot of opportunities with being part of this. So I just want to entreat anyone. So at your free time, at any time at all, just do your best to um, try and contribute something, like any little thing at all, just try and contribute. I think that's all I have to say. Great. Yeah. So it was, I think, I when um, Zita and Co went there for our first project there, I didn't go. Then the second one, I, went, I, I wasn't expecting like their team to be like that. So when I went there, I saw that they came and they even arranged for like some evening meeting. And I saw Khadija was really, they were very interested how they mobilized themselves. And it was just nice. It was being students and having time to attend events like this. And most of them are now doing very well. Sometimes I just check their edits and they are doing very well.
for this, I, I strongly believe that this Dagban Wikimedia user group, because we don't have a language user group right now, <laughs> even Global Open initiative, initiative, sorry, it's not a user group, just that we have a strong team and we, we do more than what user group people do. But for Dagban Wikimedians, we don't, we have so many advantages. One, we are doing a language focus which Wikipedia, is, the Wikimedia Foundation is very excited about. They want to have so many languages on Wikipedia. They have given us the platform and they give us, they will give us all the support we need. Other groups, the existing groups and the Global Open Initiative currently all the English uh, staff. So if we are going to be doing the Bani, it is an advantage to us. We can easily be recognized. Even the little workshop we did with Global Open Initiative uh, in Wikipedia was covered in DW. We had coverage from DW. You can imagine that was just one workshop for one afternoon and we had DW covering us. They came and they recorded. I saw the caption somewhere that the Ghanaians are translating Wikipedia articles into local languages. It was just nice. So this particular one, we are really hopeful Sadat we've been talking at the background and he's he's he has always been like giving he's always giving us ideas and coming out with things that we can do to make this a success and as i said the good thing is that i i am currently serving as the regional ambassador for indigenous communities which means all languages aside um dagbani we can i can do all other languages I am even a member of. I'm a member of the Dagbani community. That means it's just an advantage to us. It's just an advantage to us. So let's all put our efforts. Let's try our best. If you need any special assistance, I'm always available to support. There are other people who can support you in one way or the other, and we can always get better. So as I said, there's going to be a registration and we'll have formalities, we we'll have a structure, we we'll have a stronger team, we we'll have all the resources and um, you know tools that we we'll need to help our work, provided we are serious with what we are doing. And the community, now we have Zach, uh, Raha as um, our communication person for social media and the WhatsApp group, she will be doing most of the communication. It doesn't mean that I'm the only person or she will be the only person talking on the WhatsApp group. All of us, if they, sometimes we are all busy. That's why we are working as a team. If somebody posts something and the person needs to exit the group, anyone I've played any of, like all of you admins, you can just go and remove the person without waiting for me or somebody ask any question. You can go ahead and answer. Like, I just want us to feel like we are all working as a team. No one is doing something more than the other person. Mm. So all of us, we are a team, we have a strong team. I believe that we are strong. We are all excited about the initiative and we can only get better. Any other question? Any other question? No question. Okay. So if there's no question, I think it's almost 9 30. We've been here for like one hour, 30 minutes. I would like to call this meeting to an end. If there's any other question, we can follow that up on the group. Okay, thank you so much for coming. If you have a last minute question, we have one minute left and we can still continue until 9 30. And the timing. Sometimes when we are doing things, we have to like all be, if you take it like a personal thing, you will not be late. Uh, we will not be late. The workshop, I was not happy about the one we did at the, the library. That's all, it's just something that we can all learn and then stick to. Being late, there's no benefit in being late to, play, to places or programs. Okay, thank you so much for your time. I truly appreciate that. I'll try and see, even though we don't have uh, 
something for this call, but I'll try and see from the global open initiative team if we can get something for data allowance. <coughs> Um yeah. Thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Bye. Thank you too.